Using exit ticket during class is all about the heat map. Once, by default, uh, assessments are not visible to students' accounts. So when they log on, they won't see, it'll say bummer, there are no assessments available yet. Uh, and that's because, by default, all assessments start as hidden. Well, this one was visible, but it starts as hidden. So if I save and close th this, as soon as I press the start button, it will trigger it as visible, as well as taking me to the heat map. So now it's, it's visible. I can toggle this and all of a sudden make it invisible so students would suddenly uh, no longer see this in their screen. So from the heat map there are all sorts of cool controls and excellent features that uh, might be a little overwhelming at first. So let's just talk about them. If we click on a student, it will show all of the questions and which answer is correct. And it will also highlight which, they, uh, which answer they have selected. If the student for some reason needs to have their answer changed, the teacher can manually override by selecting what answer they meant to press. So now the student suddenly got one correct. If, however, I, as a teacher, realized that I inputted the wrong answer as correct, so let's say answer 2, the correct answer was actually C, I can switch this and it will update which was the correct answer and now Alvin suddenly lost the point he got. From the heat map I can also sort the students by the percentage of correct answers they have by alphabet or sort by speed of response. This can be especially effective if you want to keep track of students that are rushing and getting answers uh, incorrect or students that are lagging behind because perhaps they are being distracted. From here, I can also add, press the Add Students tab, which pulls up this convenient instruction guide for my students. Note that students do not need to use the uh, class code um, any more than the first time. Once the students have used the class code and their account is linked to your class, they are uh, on your roster and they can just use their login information from then on out. If a student forgets their password, I can use one of these buttons to press reset password and that will change their password to the default 123. As soon as the student uses that 123 and the username listed here, it will re require them to um, enter in a new password. There is also the reteach tab, which will show uh, which answers students have entered. You can scrub this view of student information by switching it over to projector mode. And that also opens up some free space for you to use your whiteboard or your smartboard in case you need to uh, write out the problem. I also like to keep an eye over on teacher mode on my tablet or my laptop. I'll keep an eye on who got the answer wrong and I'll often uh, call that student up in order to do the work um, and will um, guide that student through. And the other cool thing from the teacher view of a heat map is also this rubric grading which allows you to see a student response and manually grade it just by selecting the student. This is still a it's in the it's beta version at the moment and it is coming along shortly. That is the heat map.